Let's set up Unity Catalog from scratch. But first of all, what is Unity Catalog and why should you care about enabling it and using it? Databricks' Unity Catalog is a unified data governance solution. It centralizes access control, auditing, data lineage, and data discovery across all of your Databricks workspaces. It's a control center where you define data access policies once and then they're enforced everywhere across all of your workspaces. And this ensures great control when it comes to data security and data governance. So obviously it's something that you need to understand how to set up because you're going to need to implement it at some point. One reason why you'd need to enable it, even if you're not going to implement it at an enterprise level, is that some Databricks demos require it. And you have so many pre-built solutions that you can leverage and it's a shame not to try them out. So let's set up Unity Catalog from scratch. We start off with literally nothing provision. So we create an Azure Databricks service. You can name it as you please, but make sure that you choose the best region for you and make sure that you keep that region consistent when you provision new services because you're going to need storage and other resources to be in the same region. And I selected UK South and I'm choosing the premium pricing tier because you're going to need this for Unity Catalog. And since we're deploying this, let's look at all the requirements that we need in order to set up Unity Catalog. The first thing for you see is that you must be an Azure Databricks account admin. And as I just mentioned, your Azure Databricks account must be on the premium plan. Also in your Azure tenant, you must have permission to create a Gen2 storage account that must have a hierarchical namespace. And if you have these, you're pretty much good to go. So I created this Databricks workspace, it's deployed, and as you can see, it's on a premium tier and it's in the UK South. We're now in the workspace and in the top right corner, we can access and manage the account. That's where we can configure Unity Catalog. Here you can see your meta stores and you can create a new one. You can see that we need two things for it. First, we're gonna need a storage account and a container where the meta store will actually be. Best practice is to create a storage account for each meta store because this will keep things a lot more secure when it comes to access. Plus storage is cheap, so it's best to be safe. And the second thing that we need is an access connector ID. For this, we're gonna need to provision an access connector for Databricks. Now let's create the storage account. Create it in the same resource group and choose whatever name you wish. But again, make sure that it's in the same region as your Databricks workspace. And for me, it's UK South. Performance wise, you can use a general purpose V2 account and make it locally redundant. Click on advanced and here you need to enable hierarchical namespace as it's a requirement for UC. Now create the resource, wait until it's deployed, and now let's create the container where our Metastore will be. I'm gonna name it Metastore and I'm gonna set access level. Now we have the storage path that we need to provide when setting up UC. All we need to get is the connector ID and we get it by provisioning another resource, an access connector for Databricks. You can select the same resource group, you can give it a name and use the same region as for the storage and the workspace. After it's deployed, we can see the resource ID right here in the top right corner and we can pass that when setting up the Metastore. Now we need to connect this resource to have blob contributor access to our storage account. So in our storage account, we can go to access control and add role assignment. We'll search for blob data contributor and we're gonna click next. And we can choose managed identity and in the drop down we can select the access connector for Databricks. We can choose the one that was created and select. Now we can review and assign and wait for the role to be assigned. You won't need to set up any ACL permissions at the container level. All is good because we set up the blob data contributor role. Now we can head back to our Databricks workspace and create the Metastore. I'm gonna name it Metastore and then I'm gonna select the region where both my storage and the workspace are located. The path has a clear format. We have container name, which is the Metastore in our case. Then we get at storage account name and then DFS core windows.net. The access connector ID we can copy from the access connector service that we deployed. We get the resource ID and now we can just create the resource and all should work well. If you have any errors like I have here, make sure that you specify the correct storage. Now, the Metastore is created. We can access it, we can see the configuration and the admin, and in the Workspaces tab, we can go ahead and assign it to a workspace. Finally, after all of these steps, we can enable Unity Catalog at the account level. And here we can see the data will be governed and accessed across workspaces. And also we can see that lineage is captured automatically. And this is great, right? We can finally enable it. Since we don't have any groups or other users with custom access, we can safely do this. But if you do, make sure that you review all access control before enabling it because you cannot really reverse it. And that's it. We enabled Unity Catalog in just a couple of steps. Again, if you need to set it up for more users, there are some extra steps that you need to do. So make sure that you reach out if you need any help setting up Unity Catalog for your business. Because at Decision Force, this is what we do, right? We can get you up and ready with Unity Catalog in no time. And we can help you get a better handle on your data through clear data lineage and clear data governance.